as you know, my account was recently terminated. I am the YouTube Gypsy. Some of you know that there is a rule with YouTube. Three strikes and you're out. I previously had two strikes from months ago. <laughs> and it was the self-adhesive bra tutorial that was the nail in my coffin. I underestimated the scandal a nip slip would cause in the bra community. I got a little spoiled by how open-minded all you wonderful breastfeeding fans are. Thank you for being so open-minded and celebrating the natural expression of a woman and her child. Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it is important to not let things stop you. Get up. Dust yourself off, mm -hmm. and you hopefully learn a lesson. The lesson that I learned is that America is still very uptight about nudity, even just a flash of it. I believe they're so sexually repressed and they're afraid to see any images. The floodgates open. They just can't handle it, are not comfortable with it. The more natural that we are with our sexual expression, the less paraphilias and disorders we will have. So I will be staying within the breastfeeding community. No more bra videos. Mm -hmm. I could create another channel on a different site, like Vimeo or Dailymotion, but it just doesn't provide the visibility that YouTube does. And I need your help to maintain my visibility if you could share my public videos and spread the word about my new channel, I would be so grateful. I really love to share with everybody. <laughs> I don't see a car up there. Did you hear that car? Mm -hmm. There is another question that I keep getting that just won't stop. And I never thought it was a big deal, but it must be a little unusual because people keep asking me about it. And that's 
why does he constantly switch sides? He's being a good boy now. Not switching sides. But he is stopping frequently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like baby ADHD. <laughs> There's something called breastfeeding manners. And this is one of the manners that some mothers teach their babies. And that's to emphasize not switching between the breasts. And one of the ways that they encourage the ability to focus is by having a breastfeeding necklace, something they can just pull on that satisfies that hyperactivity. <laughs> but yeah, his distraction doesn't bother me at all though because I enjoy breastfeeding. I'm just I like savoring every moment and spending time with him. It's not something that I want to be over immediately. Other breastfeeding manners include not biting. He only bites me when either I'm out of milk or he wants to make me laugh. But I think it's kind of cute when he bites. That's an airplane. Mm -hmm. Can you say that? Mm -hmm. Is it a car? It is. It is a car. <laughs> I have a tendency to push the envelope when I feel comfortable. And it's a good and a bad thing because it can create change. <laughs> Sometimes it just creates frustration, but it, it raises awareness about things. And I'm willing to lose a little bit to raise awareness to do something that makes people think about what's going on in the world. Do you want to switch? I'll try to toe the line though because it's frustrating for not just me but for, for others as well who don't have access to old videos. 
I just don't like following the rules. You like that one? He's starting to say boob now. <laughs> and pulls on my clothes in the grocery store. Um, so we're going to finish up and I guess we're going a little bit longer. Let's stop censorship of silly things, of things that cause no harm. The world could learn a lot from this breastfeeding community. It's a celebration of the beauty and soft nature of women. We don't encourage violence or war. Only gentle things. Is that so bad? In a culture of violence, though, it is a little threatening. So I understand what's going on. Thanks for watching bye. today. And bye. little man, can you say bye bye? Bye bye. There you are.